Yeah, uh, well, I appreciate you being here. Obviously, disappointing outcome of the game. Just really disappointing how we played. Uh, thought we played hard. You know, just to continue, we got a little bit of a trend here where we're our own worst enemy sometimes. Lots of times. There's some other people helping out in that cause too. And, um, you know, and give give Sanford credit. They, they played better than we did today. Uh, they cooked better. Uh, I think it starts when it comes back to me. Just, uh, you know, man, let, let one, just let one call. I don't say one call beat us, because the one call didn't beat us, but we let it beat us, you know, later on. And that's, and that's on me. Uh, we've got to respond better in those situations. I wish those situations didn't occur. They seem to occur too often sometimes around here, especially with some review stuff. Um, but like I said, just disappointing how we responded. And, you know, we made the drive at the half. Uh, you know, it felt good at halftime. And then we, we give them a five-play drive, 75 yards. And, it was hand the ball to die. We don't we don't take a die. You know, they're not they're not even wanting to run it. You know, and, uh, and then we give up a strip sack. Uh, you know, so was it three turnovers again? How many did we get? Got got one. I, I even thought the last one was a turnover. And, uh, we at least giving us a short field. Had had more time at the end. Uh, but like the number of drops we've had, and that's just, man, that's frustrating. We'd have a lot more time on the last drive. We'd call a few more balls on the drive that we scored. Uh, just field goal blocked. Uh, you know, and uh, with the time we made it a one possession game, so then the games, you just play different when it's one possession game, you know, if you're the other, the other team. But, uh, you know, we'll come back. Um, our kids will work. There's just a lot of things we got to do better. Uh, you know, got to take advantage of the opportunities we have. You know, we're still leaving some points on the field early in games. Uh, but like I said, the most just this point is we, we let we let one one really odd situation affect us for way too long in the game, and uh, and that's on me. I'm the one. I'm the one that's got to get us to respond better there. So, but with that, questions you may have. Coach, uh, getting back to leaving points on the field early. So seems like the thing that might be keeping us from taking that next step is the ability to line up and run for short yardage situations and get the necessary yards. You just kind of, how frustrating well, it seems like you don't have to all It is, but you know, they're, they got eight guys standing up there a sure. bunch of the time, you know, when you get three receivers set, you know, you got, you got, you, they usually got one more you block. And yeah, there's some things we need to do better. And we'll continue to look at that. Uh, I didn't, you know, I looked on third down, we were, 10 of 22, um, you know, just got behind. You know, see, so we had 97 plays. You have 97 plays, you got to score more points than that, just be more, more productive. But but I'm with you, you know, thought the game started kind of like we wanted. We knew we had to mix it up because we knew they were going to crowd them all in there. So we, you know, we were mixing it up pretty good. And we dropped the first one, you know, Josh drops the first one and then makes a great, great catch on, much tougher catch on the next one. Like I said, just the, the, the three turnovers were all just killers. You know, we scored two touchdowns off two of them, and I think the one that Kendall fumbles on maybe about their 40. You know, we had a good little drive going, and it was just, you know, every possession was going to matter. But I'm, I'm with you. You know, we're going to continue to look at that. Um, you know, I'd like to, you know, you know like I said, I'll just look, you know, we're, we're we just, I tell you what we're not getting, Scott, we're not getting any chunk plays in the run. You know, it, they are hard yards, you know, and there's an extra hat in there, but we got to find some better ways to get, get some chunk yards. Um, Luke, could you talk about uh, when there's a delay like that? Uh, what's, it, what's it like as a, a player? I mean, it, almost, it seemed like you guys may need to, like, warm up again. It seemed like that was a long time. And what's going through your, your mind during, you know, that, that long delay? Yeah, um, I mean, Really, as a defense, we just have to control what we can control. And when it's in the hands of officials, it's beyond us. So we need to do our best to just let the officials officiate and worry about the control we can control. Obviously, it's a little frustrating having a long time between plays. But at the end of the day, we can't control it. So we need to stay locked into what we got going on on our side of the ball. I guess you guys really didn't know if you're still going to be in the field or not. Well, I, John, what's frustrating about it, when we get told about four different things. And we went back and forth and back and forth. I never understood after 
you know, the same thing happened a week ago. Nobody's still shown me on that video replay where uh, the punt fumble got overturned. But, you know, we had a, a three, maybe a media timeout. Then we go into review. So you spent five minutes here. You know, right. It was in so five minutes, and then they make the review, they make the decision, and then the other side of the field gets a five minute explanation. And then they go back and review. I've never, I've never ever seen that ever, ever. Um, and then they, after the long conversation, they go back into another review. And I don't know, I just, we'll see. I, I, I thought the ball, I thought it should be intercepted. The ball was never possessed. You know, it didn't catch phone immediately. But I just, I can only wait to see what the explanation will be. But, but you know, the other day, I just told God, I said, you know what, we're not going to make excuses. We, you know, we just, they played better than we did. They played better than we did, you know. They coached better than we did, and that's, that was the difference in the game. Should never come down to that, you know. We had plenty of opportunities to kind of take control of the game early, and we didn't, and we didn't respond very well when other stuff happened. When, and, and Jace, too, Jace, you had a lot of numbers, but I've rarely seen you somewhat contained where you broke away, but you couldn't, I mean, they, they made every score rough, but I mean, that game turned on that play. Y'all dominated up until that, and it turned on a dime when that call happened, regardless of its merit. But it seems like to me that Sanford did a good job of containing the offense and at least making you take a lot of resources and time to score. Yeah, they uh, did a good job. I mean, it's hard. We got two QB spies on you, and uh, they're dropping eight most of the time on most third downs. But, uh, like I said, we're out there, we're on the what, 30 or 20 yard line. We got a play on first down, we got a shot play called. And they, they overturn it and the defense has to go back out there and then they go down and score on that drive. So like you said, it was a big momentum switch, but uh, there was a whole bunch of points left on the field. And so even with two QB spies, I mean, there's just more, 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 uh, more opportunities for our receivers to get the ball. And uh, I feel like you said, we showed we throw the ball a lot. And, I think the answer we let them play ahead. You know, when you play ahead, you could do that a little more. And, you know, it's just like this is the not a game of one of us. You know, I think the the, the sack, the strip sack, we, we might have got, we might have had a 90-yard touchdown. You know, we, we don't get it off. And it's just something we do all the time. And we just didn't communicate. And it really was my getting beat and turning guy loose. You know, they brought they blitzed, and we didn't we didn't you know we got back out. We shouldn't have gotten out. Um, and like I said. Coach came, that, that, it comes down to a place like that. Um, you know, and so, uh, but, you know, lots of twists and turns. I thought the field goal, um, you know, I kept punting at the end because I just, got, you know, I kept thinking we can get two scores and we had the timeouts and it played, you know, kind of kind of played out. I thought we'd have a chance maybe to get a little better field position, but we didn't. And then, you know, we get a couple. You know, I think one of the things killed us is some of these shorts. They were doing a lot of movement. There was a lot of com a lot of calls being made at the line of scrimmage, which we weren't happy about either. And but it just was, you know, we, we jumped. We got to sit in there. But um, several of those were big, big plays too. Coach, it seems like uh, these big plays kind of just torment the defense a little bit. It's played outstanding otherwise. What what exactly? For your advantage, what happened on the on the on the well, up to the cut on the to the you did it. He held the their leading rusher to 17 yards, but the other guy about six three. Yeah, uh, you know it's just you know it's a it's a it's a little option play and for his own replay. We but you got a guy signed to the dive. It's, it's, it's just a solid football, and we just gotta you know you take maybe you take a bad angle. I don't I don't think it was a not knowing. I just think it's just we can get where we were, and sometimes the. The guy inside gets washed and creates a little wider lane, so he's got farther to come to make the tackle. But you know, we turn the turn the guy loose. They hit rushing on the exact same play last week. Turned back loose up, and you know, got to see the cover. Um, we worked it uh, every time on practice, and we just didn't we didn't cover it. We gave him a cheap one there. Um, you know, I, I think maybe that was second and twelve. But again, we've got to find a way. Just some of the big plays we've allowed. You know, most of them have certainly been passes. I just really never would have thought. Which I mean, they still rush for 132 yards, but you know, 28 
was at 28 carries, so that's, that's pretty good yards, you know. You know, that's still, but that's just, you know, you take those away, but good parts of the game, you know, we just, we just, uh, we just, uh, we just, all of those come back and go to work, and our guys will, and we got good staff, and put our guys back in position, you know, to go, go play well. I thought, you know, Jason, in that situation, stepped in again, did, did a good job, and uh, we're just, leave, again, leaving way too many plays out there on the field. Um, you know, you mentioned the big plays in the running game. I thought, hey, Dominic really ran the ball well down the stretch. Never really, the running game really didn't seem to get going like I think you would like it to today. Can you just talk about that? Well, I thought the first half we were kind of doing what we wanted to do. We were mixing it pretty good, and then we got behind. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it's like it always is, you know, one guy. They, they play they play a little bit of a unique look back there that we don't see a lot and to get a guy involved and obviously that guy he's a he's a hard guy to get a hat on and you know and so it gives you some opportunities in the passing game to make a few more plays and so um, but yeah I mean that's something we got to continue to continue to work at maybe it's you know we'll always look a little bit at scheme you know doing some different things uh, I think we're playing solidly up front um, you know, um, it's just getting it all together. You know, the drops were big. You know, the drops were big, and then certainly the all three turnovers were huge. You know, and so you said we got one. We're minus. We're, we lost three, so we're minus two. Yeah. Go look that. Go look that success rate up when you're minus two. Yeah. Hoping you win. You know, I think it's something in the eighty percent of the time. If you're plus two, you win. You know, and so really that's what. Luke, when you watched the game, it looked like a good, solid defensive effort, and then you think, how in the hell did they get 34 points? Because it seemed like you made, I mean, is that the way it felt out there? I mean, did, did you, I mean, it's just like, a, I don't know, the game turns on big plays, and they made them, and and and, for, and, and foul is good. Yeah, I, I definitely think so. I, I mean, the big thing that's been killing us on defense really has been explosive plays getting off on third down. I think we've been doing a really good job first and second down, but it's just getting off the field that's been killing us. And maybe it's a detailed thing, but I think I think it's just, you know, get back, practicing, making sure that we can be where we're supposed to be and do our jobs. I don't think it's a lack of effort on our side of the ball. You know, maybe it's field position, but, you know, it's really, we get to the third down, we just got to get off and eliminate big explosive plays, especially with a team of Sanford. You know, three explosive runs on a team that doesn't want to run the ball is, shouldn't happen, and it's it's definitely something that we just got to work on. The only thing, the only way we can do it really is practice this week and just get back to it. You know, there's a little little saying sometimes about statistics. You know, statistics sometimes will be like Sarah for losers. But uh, you know, they're four fourteen on third down, had the ball for twenty three minutes, and scored thirty four points on us. You know, so I mean, ultimately you want to be productive. They were ultra productive with the ball and uh, getting short field twice. You'll feel twice, uh, but you know, your team's found a way to win. You know, we found a way to win some close games. We have played our best. We just gotta get back to work. Like long, long year, and you know, we got a lot of football out there in front of us, and uh, we'll be a bunch to deal with going forward. Uh, Jace, um, this team with today has scored in the last two minutes of every first half this entire season. Four touchdowns in the last four games. I thought it was a big play, kind of maybe had actually turned the page from that fiasco with Colin and everything on that last session of my second play in the half. Obviously, they translate to the second half. Are there things that you guys do in that two minute type of offense that can translate to more um, on a full term basis? I mean, what, how have you been so successful on those two minute drives late in the first half of the season? What can be done to translate that? Well, like, uh, all game, their plan was to stop the run, and so when we're getting that two minutes ago, and the ball's getting out quick, and we're getting to our playmakers, I feel like that was one of the three of our most successful. Uh, even at the end of the game, when we got the score, uh, just making plays and getting, getting the ball to our playmakers. Uh, like you said, a two two QB spy that uh, when they're sitting there inside the box and they're slanting every every time for the tight end, uh, it's kind of hard to run the ball, and so I feel like. 
he's got to go back to the passing game. And, uh, you know, we did a good job staying balanced. Uh, but at the end, when you're playing from behind, it's hard. And so he got to go. So I feel like we did a good job staying balanced. But it's kind of good to lose the passing game. Thanks for trying. Clay, I feel like Ryan, I kind of, I kind of blew it. After the East Tennessee game, I read that every team has games where things go against you. And a great team can win those games. Well, then at Charleston Southern, I said, well, I should have wrote this this week. But if you have that happen, it's going to bite you eventually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, I think, uh, you know, uh, you know, for me, you know, some drops, uh, missed tackles. And obviously, missed assignments always, always helps you. And then turnovers, you know, I think it's kind of all those times. You know, we hadn't been a sloppy group all year. I think we were sloppy today. And you know, we, you know, again, give them credit. They made some plays. And, um, but yeah, you know, I think sometimes people think, you know, you're supposed to play at this level, blow everybody out. That's just not how it works, you know. And, um, like I said, this, this, this disappointment was, was just some execution stuff that we've done. And again, how we responded to that whole, you know, I, I told our team there, and you know, we're going to watch this table. A lot, of, a lot of things we left out there. I, mean, I don't. I don't want to take that. They did a good job. And they, they were better. better than that. But man, just a number of missed, missed opportunities. And both to get off the field, to stay on the field. Um, you know, it's just, just the kind of thing that just stands out to me. I was going to ask you about the second drive. Um, you had more than four, I believe, that went forward where you just kind of tired of. Well, it was good three. Nothing. It was three nothing. Goals. It was three nothing, and you know, and I just said, well, to go up six nothing, they might want to score. Right. That was really kind of where that came from. Yeah. Uh, you know, we had two other times. Um, even for the field goal, we had third and four, and we were talking about. I usually try to give them a heads up. Hey, you got four downs here, or depending on what the length of the play is, because we had several of those today. I, you know, we should be comfortable on the drive the field goal, but. If we've gotten something, I can't throw down. I think maybe we, we spring it over there and then had to throw away. Didn't, didn't get anything. And, you know, he didn't easily make that kick. And I don't talk to him. Maybe kick to the hair low. We had a little bit of a little bit of penetration. I thought they had a guy with all sides on their side of the ball that he clearly jumped and he was crowding the ball and there was no call there, which would give us the first down. Um, but no, nah, it was just simply that. I said, you know, going up by six. Uh, I, I needed to be some points scored in the game. And uh, when we were playing good on defense, I said, that's why, you know, we had the other, uh, well, I guess the drive before the big fiasco, would we punt it to the five? Yeah. I mean, you know, we had it there. Out. And I just said, yeah, we started kicking my own field goal. And I just said, hey, we're playing good defense. Let's force them to go. We kick it down to the five. And then uh, I think we we're going to have it where we're going to have it first time. Thank you, guys. Um.